we tend to think of black holes as the most fascinating thing in space. And they are. But something that might be even cooler are the things that orbit around them. Most people have heard of black holes by now, but what happens right outside of them is not as well known. We know that once something crosses the event horizon of a black hole, it can never come back out. But what happens in the region just beyond the horizon? What about the stuff that hasn't fallen in yet? How does it affect the things around it? But first, if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe. It really means a lot. So let's get to it. Imagine being an intrepid explorer venturing into the farthest reaches of space. As you gaze up at the cosmos, you see a brilliant light shining from a distant galaxy. It's so bright that it outshines everything around it. You have discovered a quasar, one of the most energetic objects in the universe. At the center of every quasar is a supermassive black hole with a mass millions or even billions times greater than our sun. These black holes act as a gravitational anchor, pulling in vast amounts of gas, dust, and stars. As these objects fall into the black hole, they form a swirling disk of glowing matter called an accretion disk. Quasars are the lighthouses of the universe, beaming out energy from their accretion disks, which can reach a mind-boggling 100 trillion watts. As the stuff that hasn't fallen into the black hole yet, like gas and dust, gets pulled in towards the center, it forms a kind of vortex. And because of the extreme heat and friction, it glows with an intense light. In addition to the intense heat and friction, there are also powerful magnetic fields at play in the accretion disk. These magnetic fields are generated by the motion of the charged particles in the disk itself. They can reach millions of times the strength of Earth's magnetic fields and they help to shape the structure of the disk. Accretion disks around stellar black holes are relatively small, typically only a few thousand kilometers in diameter. However, accretion disks around supermassive black holes can be thousands of light years across. Accretion disks are found not only around black holes, but also around some young stars that are forming in giant clouds of gas and dust. In these cases, the accretion disk is formed by the material that is still left over from the star formation process. So there you have it, a glimpse into the blazing world of quasars and their accretion disks. These incredible objects are some of the most powerful and mysterious in the universe, and we are still learning about them today.